Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Contour series. In this series of video tutorials, I'll talk about Spring MVC framework in detail, right from the very foundation, explaining the meaning of MVC till all its advanced level concepts along with hands-on sessions. So let's start. MVC stands for Model View Controller Architecture. It's simply a guideline which says how you should write code for developing an application having a UI. A typical web application developed using a servlet technology looks like this. Here, the client requests for a web page to the application and then based on the URL, the request is mapped to a particular servlet. The servlet processes the request and sends back HTML along with data as a response to the client's browser. In the same way, a typical web application developed using a JSP technology does the same thing. Here also, the client requests for a web page and based on the URL, a particular JSP page prepares and sends a response to the client's browser. Many people in IT industry argued that the approach developers follow in both ways is not so good. A typical JSP page or a servlet which developers write would have two things or responsibilities mixed together. That is a code which actually renders UI on the screen and the code which executes some logic in order to provide data which is to be displayed on the UI. This mixing of two makes a UI developer and business logic developer difficult to work independently as both his sites in the same file. And as a result, it takes more time to develop such a web application. And in case if something needs to be modified in an existing web application at a later stages, it's a real big pain. Say for example, you are asked to change the UI layout of the entire web application. Things will be a little complex to modify if both are mixed together and will require more development and testing efforts. MVC says we can overcome all such problems to a greater extent if we write an application in such a way that UI code is never mixed with the business logic code as we do in a typical servlet or a JSP page and provided a generic guideline on how we can develop such an application. It says an application should always be divided into three components called MVC, model, view and a controller. The model represents data. The view is the UI part. The controller manages the application flow, makes a call to some sort of service producing model and then passes on the model to the view. So this is how the overall flow works. Request comes to the application, the controller analyzes it and makes a decision to call an appropriate business service to get the model. Once it receives the model from the business service, it passes on this model to the view component in order to form the final output or response which can be sent back to the client's browser. In case you are developing a web application using Java, the model is typically a Java object having some properties along with getters and setters method. And typically, the view is HTML code displaying data by retrieving it from the model object. And these business services are also the Java objects having some business logic to produce a model object. I show you in a real life how this overall concept of MVC works. Say you own a cake shop and this is how you have organized your shop. You have three rooms in the shop. Each room has a different machine installed which has a capability to prepare a specific type of cake. So the machine in first room prepares a chocolate cake and the machines in second and third room prepares a vanilla and a strawberry cake respectively. You have two employees who have a skill set 
of how to decorate a cake in a specific way. Say one person specializes in writing a greeting message on the cake in English language and can decorate it further with fruits. Other can write a greeting message in Hindi language and can decorate it further with cream. Now when some customer comes to the shop, you take the request and depending on the type of cake customer wants, you delegate the request to a specific cake maker room. And once the cake is ready and you receive it, you further pass on the cake to a specific cake decorator as per customer's choice. Once the cake is ready, along with desired decoration which customer asked for, you deliver it to the customer. Customer is happy. This is a good example of how you see MVC concept in a real life situation. Here model can be the cake, you are the controller and cake decorator can be the view. There is a little confusion in definition of MVC. Different frameworks have implemented MVC concept in different ways. Different people have different perception of MVC guidelines as there is no formal definition available for MVC. It's not a question whether someone is right or someone is wrong. Only concern is business logic and presentation should be developed as a separate component which is the main aim of MVC guidelines. I hope you got the concept of MVC in general. In the next tutorial, I'll introduce you to Spring MVC framework and will explain how an actual application developed using MVC guidelines look like. Guys, a big thank you for liking my tutorials. I've just started up with Spring MVC series because of a lot of requests coming to me day in and day out in the form of emails and comments. If you want me to upload a series on any specific topic, do post me a comment or just send an email to me. I would seek for the most requested topic and will bring it up. Please hit the like button if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Contu series and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial that is an introduction to Spring MVC framework.